pricey, but this is the bedroom. I want to try gelato and Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Bikana. I am a flight attendant amongst many other things, but right now I'm on a layover in Rome. You heard that correctly. Um, never been to Italy before, so I'm super duper excited. I'm all dressed and I'm ready to hit the road. And I just want to come and give you a very warm welcome and just tell you how grateful I am, how thankful, how blessed highly favored um i said this part already in the vlog before that i'm going to insert after this clip but i'm just so happy i have several things that i plan to do i'm going to link this google maps link down below um but i have a couple places that i've saved in my rome italy pins um a couple restaurants i've saved the spanish steps the Marcellus Theater, um, a neighborhood that I want to walk around that someone on TikTok. A lot of these places are recommended from TikTok and, you know, movies. The Lizzie McGuire movie, one of my biggest inspirations to come to Rome. <laughs> um, the Trevi Fountain, the Coliseum, Pantheon, Pantheon St. Peter's Basilica. I don't leave until tomorrow at 2.45, I think is our pickup time my room key is further back but my pickup time is on it um but regardless i don't leave until after 2 p.m tomorrow so some of these places i won't be checking out today i'll definitely be hitting them literally like 6 a.m tomorrow so i'm gonna get up at like 4 30 to get ready and walk over to these places and food wise i want to try authentic italian pizza that's like number one i want to try carbonara that's number two and actually number one is actually some alfredo pasta that's what i really want to try i want to try gelato and yeah those are the things that i'm just really interested in accomplishing today and walking around i want to hit like twenty seven thousand steps today if i can and into tomorrow i want to like bring if i can't get to twenty seven thousand steps i want to bring that into tomorrow because some of these places most of these places all of these places i will be walking to and if you take a look at my map i know you can't really see it that well um, well now you can but all these little blue dots are places that I plan to go to so I'm really really excited let's go and yeah but before that I'm going to drop the room tour in right now so let me know what you think of this beautiful hotel room the amazing view that I'm sitting right in front of and yeah after that let's really go on the road bye we are in Rome. I'm gonna do a proper intro, but I just want to show you my room really quick. What you're hearing is Kai. We're on a video call. She can't hear me, but I can hear her. But let's start with our room. I'm gonna zoom out. This is the bedroom. But first, as you enter the room, the bathroom is on the right. It's a tiny bathroom. It does have a urinal though, which I have not seen in a hotel, not even in Japan. So I think that is pretty unique and I'm pretty sure the men like it. Now here is your mirror and your vanity. It's really not bad. It's not a bad bathroom. The shower is very typical of a hotel shower. And then out on the left is um, a closet. I can't really open it now because my bag is in the way. But your ironing board, your iron. We do have a robe and two slippers, which I absolutely love and I'm grateful for. 
and now here is the full size bedroom beautiful bedroom we have a mini bar well not a mini bar but a coffee station coffee and tea station and also in the mini fridge we have some complimentary water and juices which i'm really excited to try and then yeah the room beautiful you know how i am about the fixtures already i absolutely love them the different textures the woods the colors the patterns the design everything about it and then what i love the most see my scarf right here but i love this view it's really giving me rome like i'm in a rome get out i'm in rome right now this feels unbelievable and normally i'm like ugh, it's a view of another building but this build building is giving rome the street is giving Rome. The cars are giving Rome. Everything is giving Rome. And I love it. I'm really excited. I'm so blessed and I'm grateful. And I can't wait to go explore the streets of Rome. So I will see you guys when I'm all dressed and ready to hit the road. I'm going to go talk to Kai. And yeah. Bye. So I have a 34 minute walk to my first destination which isn't bad because I like to pretend I live somewhere so I'll walk for ages well, I'm not gonna lie to you though these cars are parked so close and they're dirty they're actually really dirty I don't know if it rained a couple days ago or what but they're all dirty so yeah I like I was saying I like to pretend I live here it just makes me feel like a local I can walk around and say yep that's my apartment right there I bet the camera is pretty shaky so let me get to where I want to get to and if I see any other cool shots other than garbage bins I'll bring you back out again also I did get a lot of warning I'll make it quick um, but they told me to watch out for pickpockets be careful where i put my phone and my wallet which i know this is a trend across some european um countries so yeah i'm just sending the word forward i don't think something hit in my boot to this gelato restaurant and they have like a Bridgerton theme going on oh my god yeah I'm gonna have a field day here so I just use my Apple Pay but they have literally they have the Duchess the Regency Royale Lady Whistledown the Viscountess that is so cool thank you that is so cool so I'm really excited. Which one do you think I should try? Which one would you try? Guys, that flavor is the Regency. I'm gonna try all three flavors. I'm really excited. Wow. Thank you so much. This one is called Marcellus Theater. And as you can see, it's pretty empty here. You can even go all the way down like these people are doing. It's pretty cool to know that these things have been here for like thousands of years. That's really crazy. I'm gonna keep walking around the site and find a little bit more about this area. Then, you know, my usual, I'll just create a caption and put it on top of the video. But this is, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know. If you don't like old things, then maybe this is not for you. But history is really interesting to me.
Guys, we are at the restaurant. I found this restaurant on TikTok and I walked all the way over here. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to butcher it. The name is right here on the screen. But I am looking to try the margarita pizza and maybe the meatballs. But I'm definitely going to take a look at the menu and see what other options they have. And I'm willing to try it out. Hi. Hi. Girl. I walk into a restaurant. I walk into. Oh, I don't know. I'll From? Hi guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm off the phone with Kai, and I'm trying to figure out what I want. So I think it's in between. It's in between the carbonara pasta and it says it's a homemade pasta with egg yolk pecorino cheese typical romaine carrot pink cheek black pepper or or hear me out or it will be sorry I had it here <laughs> I was so distracted a while ago or it will be a margarita pizza I don't know I feel like I always like that's my go-to pizza now if I'm to get like a pizza from my Italian place I'll just get a margarita pizza but they also have this one pizza called a buffala pizza which is extra virgin olive oil tomato sauce mozzarella fresh buffalo mozzarella and basil and I think that sounds really interesting I don't know I'm looking at their pizza and their pizza is huge should I do the pasta or should I do the pizza? If I do one today, I'll have to do one tomorrow because there's no way I can eat the pasta and the pizza right now. I'm gonna... <laughs> what what wines do you have? It says um, wine by glass. Okay. Because I'm drinking wine. I'm drinking wine in Italy. I didn't drink any wine in France, but I don't think. Maybe I did. Okay. This is the this wine is menu. Yes. Thank you. Like a glass of wine or bottle of wine? A glass. It's just me. <laughs> what the hell I'm do drinking a whole bottle? I understand that they have to ask, but look at me. I don't know I'm drinking a whole bottle by myself. Maybe if I had a company now, like that would make sense. There's this one glass of wine that I got. I love a Pinot Grigio. That's my girl but there's this one glass that I got when I was in I can't remember where I was but it's oh when I was in London it's the LeBron I don't know what these mean I'm, I'm at lost for words I don't know what to what to order all right, so update. Um, I ordered the pizza, but not the pizza that I told you guys about. I ordered this pizza called, I believe, Genovese. It's a white beef ragu, provola cheese, pecorino cheese, and extra virgin olive oil and basil. A lot of cheese and beef and basil, and extra virgin olive oil and tomato and bread. That's about that. So now as for the wine, I like either like a Pinot Grigio type wine, which I believe it's not sweet, but it's not fruity and it's not bitter, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but they don't have any sweet wines. All he has is like fruity wines. I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna look them up though. He, there's only three of them, which they're right here. Um, sorry, you can't see that very well. 
but everything else is more like dry or bitter and I don't like dry wine um, I thought I would be a person that loves Sauvignon Blanc but no and I don't like red wine that's just not me but it, I, I have a feeling that these fruity wines are gonna be red so I mean it let me shut up um, so I'm waiting on the pizza I don't know if it's done to order if they have like some ready already but we'll see it, everything just smells so good I'm really really excited super excited all right this is what I got I cannot even tell you the name of this wine because he took the menu but I was just telling Kai that it is definitely not sweet it's definitely very an alcoholic wine like you know sometimes you have to really you know, I'm gonna like taste the alcohol in the wine. I just like when the wine just tastes like wine. Like it's not trying too hard. Yeah. This I try very hard. It's not something that is beverage, but you know. Yes. This is a shot right here. This is a shot. Um but it does have some fruity taste and I really like how chilled it is. I love white wine, so it's just not my preference, but Everything else on the menu and he said was like bitter or dry and I'm not with it. It's a girl for me. <laughs> Maybe after I eat the food will change my taste buds a bit. So then it'll it will taste like different. Yeah. This is the pizza, it's the Genevieve. There's like beef and a whole bunch of cheese. Oh my god, my first authentic Italian pizza. Wow. Alright, let's dig in. Oh my god. Should I ask them for cut it for me? <laughs> Looks like a fool though. Mr. Man all over the world just acting the same. cheese but wow well, I'm a full <laughs> and then I didn't eat anything on the plane damn I didn't eat nothing on the plane that was a seven hour flight Step up in that place, I like didn't own the place, so she's like, Who are y'all? Let me catch up on camera. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna keep eating this pizza and talk with Kai. I'm not lying, I'm full. But I know for the ear, I take up space in my belly, but this. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to finish it and if I do I'll come back and show you. It's just gonna have to take me a while to finish. I'm waiting on a box. I didn't finish the pizza. So it was a lot. It was a lot of food. I need to ask him like how to pronounce the name of the restaurant. Excuse me. How do you pronounce the name of the restaurant? Mariucha. 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 There you go. Mariucha. It was definitely not how I was going to pronounce it, so... Mariucha. Mariucha. Alright, I need to not drink any more wine for today. I've stumbled upon this bridge. This is not the bridge that I used to cross earlier today. But they are vendors on the bridge and a lot more traffic, a lot more people. There's also no cars on this bridge. Not only that, but down by the river, I don't know, Tibray? Tibur? I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Please don't hate me. I just, I don't want to mispronounce the word. But I believe it's Tibur. There's live music at a restaurant. And he has a very beautiful voice. 
not only that but the birds are chirping and it just it just sounds beautiful like the evening is definitely amazing i know you can't really see the statues all that well but i'll try to get it from the other angle so you can see it you get to see people enjoying themselves walking in the breeze everybody just looks so amazing and happy dressed for tonight's outing but I'm going to switch this handle of my purse to the chain handle to make it more nighttime appropriate the only thing I need to do is take off this little plastic that I never took off from the time I bought it which is almost giving now a permanent look but um, I'm just going to go up to the rooftop bar uh, at the hotel. I don't know if my crew members are still there. I am uh, a good three hours, <laughs> three hours into the, into the invitation time. They were originally planning on being there about 6.30. Technically two hours, 6.30. Technically less than that. So they were planning on being there at 6 30. It is now 8 12. Um I don't know who's there even, but I bought this little adapter. Well not adapter, like I said, chain handle. But there's an extender. The color is a little bit off, just the slightest bit, but I don't mind it. What I'm going to do now, since I've extended the long chain, is just loop it through the lid of the bag. Let me see if I can remember how she did do it. I think it was like this. So, yeah, just like that. And then I'm going to keep it in there. And I'm going to show you in the mirror right now exactly what it looks like. This is what my outfit looks like. Um, I've had this skirt for a while from Zara and the top is well also from Zara well <laughs> I haven't shopped at Zara in a good while though but this is the purse this is what I was telling you I looped it through the flap of the bag and it's just gonna sit like like that I'm gonna flip the camera so this is what it's looking like I think it's pretty cute I don't know I like it let me know what you think in the comment that's why I'm like ever so in love with coach now because you can make the purse versatile in so many ways like I literally have at least six new ways to style this purse I touched up my hair from all the walking around I just laid my edges um, a little bit I tried to do a little style but I'm not the girl when it comes to that and yeah, I'm going to drink some of this peach drink from the mini fridge. Again, this is my outfit. I'm going to head upstairs now. And if nobody's up there, I'm going to buy myself a one drink. Sit, enjoy the view, and then drink my wine and come back and sleep. Because I'm going to get up early, early, early. Probably get up 3.30 to leave. No, probably get up 4 to leave by 4.30. Mm. Depending on how long the walk is to the Trevi Fountain. I'm gonna have to do the math tonight And then I'll let you know before I go to sleep what time I plan to wake up and get ready And how long the walk is gonna take me tomorrow to get to Trevi Fountain by 6 a.m Because I want to beat the crowd and get some nice pictures and just enjoy the space before everybody else comes in Overcrowds it and I also want to go to the Coliseum. So Trevi Fountain first the Coliseum. Good morning guys. It is 2.34 a.m. in Rome and I believe it's about either 8.34 
p.m. in New York or 9.34. I can't remember which one. I believe it is 9.34 p.m. Um, so I'm going to walk to the Trevi Fountain at 5 a.m. Um, this is it right here on Google Maps. It's going to take me 23 minutes to walk. I'm going to leave around 4 for something. Um, no, I plan to get there at 5, 5 a.m. I think. And I'm going to leave around for something. That's what I should have said. And then when I walk from the Trevi Fountain, I'm going to head over to the Pantheon. Um, it's going to be probably around 6 a.m. Yeah, it's probably going to be around 6 a.m. at that time. You know, just depending. <laughs> and then from the Pantheon, so probably around like 6.30, now 7, I'm going to walk to the Coliseum, which that one is a little bit of a walk right here. So I'm going to go from, sorry, I'm going to go from here at the Trevi Fountain to here at the Pantheon to here at the Coliseum so it's probably gonna take me like a 30 something minute 28 to 30 something minute walk so I'll probably get there around 7 7 30 depending on when I leave and then I also want to um, walk to st. Peter's Basilica um, just to even walk around I don't plan to go inside these places my trip was way too last minute but if you are coming here um, in advance then definitely do that then from the Coliseum because I'm a girl that likes to walk I will walk for literally three hours I'm gonna walk from the Coliseum over to the Vatican City to st. Peter's Basilica so I think that's gonna be my plan for tomorrow and I'll try to get back to the hotel by noon I'm gonna get some carbonara and I'm gonna try to get some Alfredo so we'll see and earlier I was pronouncing the river Tiber yeah I'm pretty sure it's river Tiber I looked up a video on how to pronounce it I was saying Tiber but it's Tiber um I've only heard a couple people so I need to hear a more diverse audience pronounce it but yeah tiger with a b so the river Tiber it was pretty cool this is it right here kind of runs almost through the middle of Rome I'd say yeah um there's so many different bridges that you can walk across to get different views of it it just seemed very unique and i do plan on coming back here for a longer time maybe like a week or something uh i think it'd be fun to explore this little city it reminds me in a way of barcelona obviously very different uh unique in its own right w w well in its own right but it is a very walkable very beautiful ancient city i really like it now i'm gonna go to sleep because like i said it's now 2 38 a.m and i plan to get up in about another three okay i'm gonna get up in another two and a half hours so bye good morning so plans change all the time it is now 6 12 a.m mommy called me around 3:44, and I jumped up. I thought that was the alarm. I was like, "Okay, it's 4:30. Time to get ready." You know, <laughs> we talked for like five minutes, if that, and then I went back to sleep. I didn't wake up until like 5:50 something, 5:45. So, you know what? I'm just like. That's how it is. I'm just going to let my body go with the flow. If it's busy there, it is what it is. I'm just going to get my cute little picture and enjoy the morning. I definitely want to come back though before noon because I realize I am actually tired. Um, I credit that because I didn't really prepare for this trip. Like I didn't you know I picked this trip up very last minute so yeah um I don't think I'm gonna go to the Vatican City today because that would be a little bit more of a walk 
So I think I'm only going to go to the Trevi Fountain, the Coliseum, and then start making my way back to the hotel. I definitely want to get the pasta though. So that will be my brunch lunch. And just enjoy the city and the rest of the morning. And when I come back, I can enjoy other places. Then close to the Trevi Fountain, right around that corner, should be it. Guys, it's 6.32 a.m. I'm kicking myself. I literally should have fought harder and <laughs> and um, got nothing came at 5 because what is this? This is crazy. It's super beautiful though, so the crowd, they're invisible to me. All right, guys, we are at this little cafe right outside, well, right in front of the Coliseum. And I just ran into this flight attendant. Hello. We're both flight attendants. Isn't that <laughs> random? So random. So now we're having breakfast. I got the croissant and the cappuccino. And this uh, Maurit, how, how Maurizio. Is it Maurizio. Maurizio. Marito and the cappuccino. Show them the view, no? I, I so I'm gonna put the view over the sound. It is so beautiful, amazing, and it's the temperature is really cool. Mm -hmm. People are walking by, cars are passing. I feel like I live here. <laughs> this is my Saturday morning routine. Yes, <laughs> so it's perfect. Okay. But I hope you go out and check out my TikTok and also check out the Instagram for the pictures, and I'll tag Ava. Um, Instagram as well so you can go and check her out <laughs> and see her journey and yeah we're gonna enjoy our breakfast now yeah. and I'll see you guys later thank you Hi. we're at the Spanish steps right now I don't know I thought it would be a little bit more but yeah it's okay it's a nice I think they call this a I don't know what there's a name for like courtyards in Italy pet and it sounds like pizza <laughs> but it's not pizza. I'll pop it up on the screen, but that's what the area is and it's, it's cute. It's cute. A panteon, the panteon. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're now right outside the Pantheon. I kid you not, I pulled up, I did not know this was the Pantheon. Because I've only ever seen pictures of inside with the dome. It's very pretty, the artwork. But we do have to pay, I think, to go inside. Um, you see the line? Yes. Crazy line. Ava is so nice. Um, we stopped in McDonald's just to gather ourselves. And I always know like McDonald's, Starbucks, if there's Burger King, like chain restaurants that you can find in multiple countries always have like bathrooms that they give access to the public to. So we came here and she used a bathroom and she is so nice and she's so pretty and kind and it's fun. Look at that. I was feeling so sad a couple days ago and I'm like, let me try to get a nice trip and I got a nice trip and I've met someone really nice and she's supposed to come to New York next month. So when she comes, I'm going to see like hopefully I'm available so we can travel and I can show her Manhattan and um, Grand Central and just like fun stuff. So that would be a lot of fun. And I tell you, I drank my other water and I got this now. It's currently 9.23, so I've seen the Trevi, Fountain, the Coliseum, and the Pantheon. I wasn't even planning to go to the Pantheon anymore. I was just gonna go back to the hotel, but this is so nice. I'm sorry, the light is shining down on my forehead, but I'm gonna, we're gonna get lunch and I'm gonna get the pasta. So for the most part, I've done everything that I said I was going to do yesterday and I'm really, really grateful. So I will see you guys when we find a nice little restaurant. And I'm sorry I haven't been getting a lot of like scenery because we've been talking and it's hard to film when you're talking and walking. And I just, you know, met someone new and I'd like to get to know her. And yeah, I'm just happy. I'm grateful and blessed. Bye. Yeah, I'm
alcoholic beverages which I think this is the wine menu yeah. alright you guys we're at the Stravinsky bar I've tagged it in my google maps it's in a hotel it's close to a piazza it's really pretty I got the peach lemonade non-alcoholic non of course because my pickup is in a couple hours and we're just enjoying life it's really beautiful in here it's giving Tuscany very beautiful, very tropical. The birds are chirping, or they were chirping. The music is calm, and you know, like, we can relax. I think we were walking for hours, and uh, all the crowds, and the excitement, and the mopeds, and you know, the little mini cute cars. But now we can just breathe, inhale, take it all in. And this is what this destination, this location is giving. Peach lemonade is very refreshing. Yeah. Oh, it looks so cute, guys. Ready? Ready, guys. I just separated from Ava. She's gonna head to a restaurant to grab lunch, and I'm gonna head back to the hotel. It's almost midday, and my pickup is 2:25, not 2:45. They have something going on in this little corner, but if I can, I'm going to grab the pasta at a restaurant close to my hotel, but for now, it's a 10 minute walk back, so I'm going to do that, and then along the way, get something to eat. It was so much fun. I'm so glad to have met her, and when she comes to New York, she's going to let me know. So. I'm super excited. I don't know what they have going on over here. Alrighty guys, so I'm not sure if y'all are new here, but I love to at least stop in the supermarket in different countries. So there's a supermarket about a block away from the hotel. I'm staring at it right now. I'm going to go in and see what I can buy to bring home, especially for my mommy. So let's go see what the supermarkets in Rome have to offer. The supermarket here is very tiny. I think it may be just be this specific location, but it is super duper tiny. Um, for now, I picked up two bottles of wine, one for mommy, one for Kai. And I have this bread and this cute little snack. You can't really see it right now. When I get to the hotel, I'll show you. But this is the little wine section. And like I said, it's like, it's super cute and it's super tiny. I don't really see anything else that I would like to try. Maybe I'll get like Nutella. Like one of these little cute ones. Um, but we don't even really do that. My mom doesn't do that as well. Um, I'm not sure what else I can get her. Maybe I can try to get some jam. And these are some unique flavors. But yeah, I just wanted to show you inside of the supermarket. When I get back to the hotel, I'll just do a mini haul before I get ready for work. I'm back in the hotel. While I'm sitting here doing my little haul, I'm gonna put my phone to charge. It's 12.27. I want to go out really quickly and get my pasta because I'm getting my pasta. <laughs> I got the gelato and I got gelato again today, which is amazing. Um, and I got the pizza. 
I want my pasta. Like, I'll be darned if I don't leave with a pasta. So I got this bread. I don't know. It caught my attention. It looked nice and it felt really soft. It's a Polini a latte. This is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, it just felt really squishy and soft. And I think it would be a nice little breakfast sandwich. It looks like hot dog buns. But they have like little slits at the top. And then the treat. I was trying to find some coffee for mommy. She literally has a coffee addiction, which I need. I'm trying to break her out of, but then I'm the same person that when I go to different countries, I try to find unique coffees for her. But I thought this would be great to have in the morning as a nice little breakfast treat as well. Um, it, it feels really soft and squishy, just like the other bread. And then uh, I got some pesto. I'm not really even a pesto person. Like, I don't know. I just was like, ooh, pesto made in Italy. So I was like, let me get some and I'll make some pesto salads. But this is what it's looking like. And I also got mommy some olives. I don't like olives. I don't like olives. I've tried it, been there, done that. I don't like them. But I know she loves olives. So being that, you know, olives are popular to Italy, I got her some olives. Then I got wine. I got two bottles of this same wine. I'll give mommy one and I'll try it and I hope it tastes good because one is for Kai. Got wine. All together with the two breads, the, the pesto, the olives, and the two bottles of wine, I only spent 23 US dollars. And when I was cashing out, the man, like, he greeted me in Italian. I just smiled because I had no idea on what to say. Um, and then I was, like, using my phone to pay, like, tap to pay with Apple Pay. And it didn't go through because he was, like, using their regular system. And he was like, are you, um, like, he was like, American? And I'm like yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know you maybe thought like i don't know where he thought i was from but he thought i belonged here and that's all that mattered to me because i'm like i give off that image of like i belong here i love that like you know you know i've said it a couple times in this video i'm a local whenever i go to a different country i live here i'm from here nobody can tell me any different i walk around like i know the streets like i own the streets like my apartment is down the road and this is my routine every day so the fact that he thought that i lived here that i belonged here it made me feel good but then he had to pull out the foreigners card machine okay and then i had to i gotta i gotta realize i was like yeah you ain't from here girl you 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 you're a tourist but it was fun it was really cute and for all the things that i got 23 dollars that's not bad that's not bad so i'm really excited let me smell this pesto because i don't even know what i got myself into mm, it does smell really nice okay the pesto pasta about to go off the pesto on like some bread probably not the first bread that i showed you but like some toast pesto like a scrambled egg oh yeah this is gonna be nice let me tighten it <sighs> all right i'm done let me go find the pasta restaurant near me and get some pasta to go and i'll get ready and i'll show you guys so bye and the pasta place three minutes away so, let's go it's literally right here all right guys so i'm not too far from the hotel and i see a place that sells pizza and i'm asking if they only sell pizza but he said no they also have pasta so i was asking him about the alfredo pasta and he was like very lost he's like what's alfredo pasta so i guess it's not really italian but let me tell you let me break it down so it says some may argue that alfredo sauce isn't really Italian it's American and then he was like I'll give you a quick history lesson the sauce was born in Rome from a man named Alfredo his sauce was a simple emulsification of butter Parmesan cheese and pasta 
This version we know and love today includes garlic and cream for a saucier consistency. So I guess we can call this modernized sauce an Italian American love child. So I'm going to go inside and try the pasta that he has. So we'll see. It's close to the hotel. I don't really have that much time to be picky and choosy. So I'm going to go try. I'm going to get his recommendation of something that's cheesy and nice and creamy. So we'll see. I'm coming back to you because, okay, I don't have much time and I'll try something, but it has to be white, creamy, and cheesy. Yes, you, have you a recommendation? like pasta, cream, and cheese. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, don't worry. Please. All righty, let's go. Okay. Where should I sit? I said, I'm not leaving without my pasta. So, we're just gonna, hello. We're just gonna try his version. When people look at me when I'm filming, I just smile, because what else am I to do? All right. Got my hand sanitizer. Even though I'm just coming from the hotel room and I washed my hands, you can never be too sure. Music is playing and I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted, so I gotta shut up now. When the pasta comes out, you'll be the first to see. Really quickly, they messed up my order, um, but I someone else brought the food over, so I told her that this is not what me and the gentleman talked about. So when he came over, he immediately recognized that it was the wrong thing. They brought me the wrong pasta, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Oh yeah. Tastes really good. Back in the hotel. So the guy that I originally uh, took my order for the pasta, um, I had asked the lady for a to go a takeaway box and the bill so she was like oh my god like well she didn't say it. she's like are you sure like she said yes of course we have the took um takeaway box like is everything okay and i'm like yeah i just don't have a lot of time because i really don't like i really need to start getting ready right now <laughs> um and then the guy came over and he's like is it okay like does it taste good like please let me know and I'm like, yeah, it tastes okay. Like, everything is fine. I just don't have a lot of time. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. So he was really nice. It tastes okay. It's not terrible. Um, I've tasted better pasta in the States because, I don't know, like, you know how Chinese American food, Italian American food, it has this little pizzazz. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But... Uh, I knew what I was going into. I knew what I was getting into. What I wanted was something really creamy and cheesy and it's clear like even from the first interaction with him that that's just not something that is their specialty and that's okay. I really wanted to try pasta in Italy. Uh, so next time I come back I'm definitely going to do some more research and just plan accordingly so I can really try a restaurant that that is your specialty. Their specialty is pizza and it's fine. They have pasta as well but their main thing is pizza. And even when it comes to the pasta, it's like a red sauce, like a tomato sauce pasta that they're really good at. So the fact that they kept asking, kept asking, like, I just know, like, it probably wasn't even something that they would reach for, you know, even though they worked there. So I completely understood that part. Um, was it creamy and cheesy? Like, it wasn't what I wanted, per se, but it, it really is good. Like, I can't lie, it didn't taste bad. Um, so the next time though, I really want to try some Alfredo or carbonara, which maybe I should have said that to him. Maybe I should have said carbonara. Then maybe he could have got me something like that. Even though I think the pasta that I got is probably pretty similar to a carbonara pasta. But I don't know. I, this was very last minute, poorly planned on my part, but the service was really, really good. And the fact that they cared so much to keep asking if everything was okay and if I was sure and if it was to my liking like it made me feel like they you know genuinely like want me to have a good experience to like really enjoy their food and you know like 
really have a positive reply on what they were giving so that in itself just gave me like a 10 out of 10 experience that was really amazing anyways man shut off on the ears i need to charge my devices and pack up my suitcase and get ready so when i'm done getting ready for work i'll come back and tell y'all bye it is now time for me to leave i'm all ready i'm about to close my suitcase up i really hope you enjoyed this rome vlog i definitely will be back so if you have any recommendations on things i should do in rome that maybe you've done or you've seen someone do please leave a comment down below if you like videos like these please 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 leave a comment down below let me know like the video it really goes a long way when you guys like the video and if you aren't subscribed what are you doing so hit the subscribe button i really appreciate everything and if you're a silent watcher i appreciate you to the end of the world and back because every every view means something like every comment means something every subscription every like every share it really means a lot and even if you're behind the scenes and showing me love from afar i appreciate you just the same so yeah i'm all ready to go i'm now in love with rome i have to come back and i don't know what else to say i have 10 minutes until i have to get downstairs so let me get up on out of here thank you guys so much for watching ciao